Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday. We have made it through the work week. We have grinded all the way to today. But first, I got to say, we're all of my gym stars. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bree Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Salon, BKA, the People's Champion. So, don't mind the attire. I'm in my onesie, but we get ready to head out, so it's all good. So today, we are bringing to you two of the youngest pretty looking ladies uh first we have megan good and second we have tatiana ali miss tatiana ali from fresh prince of bel-air and we have megan good what movie is megan good played in uh she was on cousin skeeter and cousin skeeter and that was back in the day though and um, in, uh what was that waist deep with tyrese oh and deliver us from evil yeah she was in that too yeah so, who are you guys rocking with? Is it going to be Megan Good or is it going to be Tatiana Ali? Drop it down below. Keep hitting the like button. And I appreciate you guys. And have a fun Saturday. Peace. Man, get out my seat, ah! man. Get out my seat. I say get out my seat. I say get out my seat. Hey, look here, man. We're getting ready to go and hang out with the family, with my sister, all that good stuff, man. So, y'all already know what time it is, man. Good vibes only here. Uh... Well, well, I forgot one thing. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Can I can I get my intro in? Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. We got the All City Live TV headbands coming today. I got them in the mail yesterday. I'm going to press them up today. I will be sporting mine today. You should get with All City and see how he gonna get y'all to order them and all this stuff, man. But that's what y'all should do. Anyway, man, look, check it out. Beginning at the beginning, NBA 2K News, man, 2K20 News. The devs are aware of the dashboard issues and they're gonna get them fixed uh, for people with the combine. Hopefully we have enough time left for you guys to be able to get your stats up and qualify in the combine and all that good stuff. Anyway, it just says the NBA 2K devs are working on, on the dashboard issues. Stats and, win stats and wins and losses will be corrected. More game windows will be added if need be. So more or less what they're saying is if you, if this uh, impacted you in a way where if you don't know how many games you got, you may not be playing as many or you may not be doing, you know, the most uh, that you could do because it's not tracking your progression properly. But what they're saying is, it, since they, they're aware of this, what they're going to do is they're gonna add more game windows. So you're gonna be able to play more, you're gonna be able to do more. Uh, now look, a lot of people feel like the, the league is rigged. I'm telling y'all, the league is not rigged. The league is more like this. You're going to take a known over an unknown. So if you're a guy, if like I said, if you wanna make the league, if you wanna make the league, you better be playing WR, you better be on the comp scene, you better be on the on the 5v5 comp scene. You gotta be playing WR, you gotta be playing this, you gotta be making a name for yourself along the way. You have to show these people that you are committed and that you want to play because you're not just gonna come into the combine. Let's say, let's say this right here. You, you come into the combine, you blow everybody in the combine away and you do your thing. But this other guy has been constantly scoring 20 to 20, 20, 25 points in the WR leagues or, or the more respected leagues or the more known leagues or what have you. He's been scoring 20 to 25 points all this time. You come in the combine, you're scoring 40 points a game, 50 points a game, uh, you know, for your, for your 40 game clip. What are they going to take? They're going to take the person that they know and they've seen play in more more diverse situations. They're going to take that guy that's been grinding WR for the last three years. They're going to take that guy that's been playing the comp games the last the last few years because that's more of a known than an unknown when you invest in things. It's just like investing millions of dollars in a guy that comes right out of high school versus somebody that go that went to college, put in his time, and he's still really good or went to college one year and that's one and done. There's no point in wasting your time in college now. But you understand what I'm saying? Somebody coming straight out of high school or somebody that's going to college and proved themselves, they're gonna be more, unless it's a generational talent. Now, normally only generational talent is gonna jump, make that leap, but we're just saying it's a known versus a, versus a unknown. Somebody that just came out there and lit up the league and, um, and, and lit up the combine, but you never played any comp and nobody knows who you are, you're a variable unknown, they're not gonna take a chance on that as much as they're gonna take a chance on somebody 
who has proven themselves over the last few years. So you just got to be mindful of that. If you came out there and tore up the combine, don't worry about it. You just Now you just need to, so you should have no problem this year getting to some WR leagues, getting into some of the uh, other leagues, the EPL, when we, when we come up with it, we're going to try to push that league to the top. Like, get in some of these leagues, get in the comp leagues, make your name known in the scene. Once your name starts ringing out, then you'll be more, you'll, you'll be more, likely to get drafted but just coming in and tearing it up in the combine it's going to be highly unlikely just because a person that comes in uh, let's say somebody walked into the combine in indianapolis and tore it up but they never saw you play play football before it's going to be very uh yeah we should have done college football it's somebody that has has done something over the last three years in college football versus somebody that just walked into the combine and ran a 4-2 flat bro we don't even know if you can play football yet you understand what I'm saying? We ain't got no tape on you, so of course they're not gonna they're not going to take a big chance on you. But what they will do is that, that's gonna push your name to the top of the list for next year. Now go dominate these WR leagues. Go dominate these other other leagues. WR are the only league I can think of right now, so that's why I keep saying them. But go dominate these leagues, and then next year you're gonna have a very legitimate chance uh, to make it. Anyway. On to our next story, man. Y'all, y'all understand what I'm saying, man. It's a, it's when you're investing money, it's a known versus unknown. Nobody's gonna invest in a variable unknown. Hey, next thing that we got, man, we got um, we got the guys over, the guys over at uh, where where are they at? Uh, uh the, the range extender, man. NBA 2K Lab TV, man. They got. They got range extender, and they're showing you what range extender does for you, how much it raises your chances of making the shots. And they're saying that it really helps you more the further you are away from the basket. So if you're shooting twos, deep twos, they're saying you should just use bronze. And then if you want to see how it impacts your shot and your shooting, you know, as you move further away, you need to go watch the video. Video is an awesome video. It lets you know that if you are a shooter, range extender is a must-have badge. I have it on go. I haven't put it on Hall of Fame. They did change some of the sliders with gold or Hall of Fame. Um, you used to be able to shoot at or right, right at or beyond the hash with gold, and you could hit that consistently. They changed that. You got to have Hall of Fame in order to hit that. Now, and I noticed that's a change that nobody has talked about or anything like that. But I used to be able to hit, hit, hit very deep, you know, with no problem. Now you got to have Hall of Fame, which is fine. I'll just put Hall of Fame. I'll probably take off Hall of Fame, catch and shoot, and put on the range extender right there. And then we'll figure out what we need right there. But, hey, it is what it is. Or I'll find something else to take to take down a notch and then uh, and go from there. Anyway, uh, one more story that we got, man. I was getting ready to sign in my PlayStation. My bad. Hit the wrong button. Uh, it seems that Beast Mode got banned, and I think a lot of people already reported on this, saw my ban time change, so I contacted uh, support, and they told me that they escalated it to a permanent ban. And then you see what Poe Boy Sin says with the Martin. No! Y'all know that he's, that he is, uh, that Beast Mode is, is Poe Boy Sin's uh, duo, so you know they duo together, and they, and they play the game together, and you know, that's his main guy that you're gonna always see him playing with, so, um... You know it is what it is that that sucks um last week you know we said if you're doing the wrong thing you're gonna get banned you're gonna get knocked off and stuff like that but at the same time it really sucks to catch a permanent ban for that what like that ain't even nothing to rip like first of all i feel like this there shouldn't have been a ban anyway 2k should fix their stuff so that you can't go in it's not hard to limit to set a limiting factor if then statement if a player in group you put them in a container you define the container and then when they try to when they try to come in you you probably in container 15,000 if a player in group 15,000 has a player over 75 overall then deny entry it's a very simple if then statement you should not be getting banned for the entirety of the year because they are incapable of writing a very simple if then statement it might not be that simple now but back when i was doing job and stuff man it was really that simple you, you, you the, the container is defined whatever they're gonna play in that's already defined so all they have to do is say look at the numbers look at the overalls in the container search uh the overall in the containers. I could probably write that statement. You got an int, 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 
I, I, I'm not about to go into all that stuff, man, but I can definitely write that statement right now and it will work. It's a simple, very simple logic statement. So you just make you make the you make the container that the inner integer. So you int the int the container, um, and then you search it, and then you you search the container to get the overalls. Okay, so now that you search the container to get the overalls, now you um now you write your if then statement. If if overall if any overall equals uh, uh greater than seventy five then deny entry. It's, it's real simple. It is what it is. But anyway, I don't understand how you get get banned because their programmers are incapable. And like I said, a lot of more people would have got banned if they would have brought the thing to the East because everybody was ready to do it and ready to hop in there and do it because we knew what happened last time. We knew that last time people got knocked off. And it was crazy, but it is what it is. And uh, speaking of the, the last part of the Poor Boy Sam versus... Um, versus the coach uh, joint. I really care not to talk about it, man, because number one, the explosion of the DMs, and it, it really seemed like, like like a lot of people were trying to say what, what Sam was saying was female activity, and I'm like, it's female activity to expose DMs. Like, who does that? If I write something to you, I wrote it to you in confidence, and I don't think it's gonna get out there. A lot of stuff that 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 I write to people in in DMs could get killed. Could, could not get killed. Could get could, could get me put in jail. Like I could write to my wife in a DM. When I get home, I'm gonna grab you by your hair, slap your ass a few times, and then choke you till you're unconscious. If she exposed that part of the DM that I sent her the other day, then my ass is going to jail. If she exposes her response to that. Boy, don't threaten me with a good time. I'll have the handcuffs. You bring the you bring the Nutella. Hey, it's all good. So you see, having all of the DM is really what changes anything like that. Now, I'm gonna come in there. I'm gonna choke you till you pass out. And she'd be like, "Shoot, I'm always up for something like that." I got the handcuffs. You bring the Nutella. Let's get it. Like, if she's into that, then it just is what it is. But if, but you know what I'm saying? But if I just show you one side of a DM, it can re you can really make it look like anything that you wanted to. And it was also seven days that transpired between those. We don't know how those guys are. We don't know how they talk. We don't know what their relationship is. And I could definitely see it from both sides too, because I, I'll tell you like this, I'm a competitor. Like a lot of people that would be like, you know, why he blocked and banned him and all that good stuff. Look, man, I'm, I'm a competitor. I have taken my cousin to the gym with me. If somebody tried, it's over with for them. But I'm telling you one thing. While he and I are on that court against each other, we go to the gym together. Team A picks him up, I'm on Team B. We not cousins while we playing. I'm going at you. I'm trying to give you 50 while we going at each other. Now, after it's over, I unblock, unban, we cousins, we embrace, we cool, cuz you got me, I got you, blah, blah, blah. But on the while we playing, nah. It ain't, it ain't none of that, man. I'm a competitor like that. I had cousins that went to rival high schools and when we was on the court, it, it's, it, it ain't none of that when we was on the football field. Don't catch it in front of me. Don't do me too bad, cuz don't catch it in front of me. You catch it in front of me and I tell him, don't try to burn me. He said, they don't throw it my way. That's just how it is. So if you're a competitor and you know about that too, you know about that, man. But but the whole, the rest of the stuff, I could look at it like, you could look at it like, yo, bro, you are not even doing that like, like the rest of the stuff, it's not it's it's hard to interpret because I could see him saying, Bro, you can try to pass me, do your thing. Don't kill yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't kill yourself to try to do it because you know how sin talk. If you know sin, you know how sin talk. It can't it does look bad from there, but we don't see the whole entirety of what was said. And because we don't know what the, the entirety of what was said, we can't tell the tone in which it was said, and we don't know what was said before or after. You can't really make a, a decision off of off of three or four phrases. A lot of times when people want sympathy or they want empathy, right, Bridget? When they want sympathy or empathy in a DM, they gonna they gonna be like, they just gonna show you the part that makes the other person look bad. Oh, exactly. But just like I just told them, they probably think I'm playing. If I sent you that text the other day and said, when I get home, I'm gonna grab you by the hair, slap your ass a few times, choke you till you're unconscious. What you said? Yes. See? If she, if you went, she into that. So that's all good. But if she just showed y'all that part of the DM, it would make me look really bad. It may look, make me look like an abusive husband. When really, I'm just giving her what she want. Different strokes, different folks. Literally. 
But anyway, man, look, man. Hey, I gotta get. <laughs> Hey, let me get up out of here, man. Hold on. It's some freaky snaky going on around here, but anyway, man, look. Oh, Bridget, I told him that you said you got you got the handcuffs. I'll bring the I said you said you got the hand uh, I got the handcuffs, you bring the Nutella. <laughs> anyway, man, it is what it is, man. The Nutella. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Anyway, man, I gotta get up out of here, man. Like I said, you can make any situation look bad if you're only showing one side of the DMs, but putting out DMs in the first place, that's not a good look. It's never a good look, man. Look, everybody grinding, everybody trying to make it through this through this YouTube thing. Everybody, you know, we gotta show love to each other, man. It, it, try loving somebody. Everybody hating somebody. Try loving somebody. Also, shout out to my guy Bad's plug, man. He plugged me in on one of his videos, mentioned me in one of them. I watch all his videos. You know, he don't do the glitches and stuff no more. He really does some really good news videos now. Not even gonna cap. So that's why I sub, you know, when he was doing all the glitching and stuff, it was one thing, but then they banned him for the year before the thing even started, man. I, I can't tell you if that was warranted or not. That was just unorthodox activity. But the stuff that he's been putting out lately, the news videos, I can't lie, they top notch, man. Y'all need to go over there and check him out. Even if you, even if you feel like he had a bad taste in his mouth before, Hey, it's legit now. I actually watch the news every day after I do mine because I don't want to be like I don't I don't watch other people's news videos before I do mine because I don't want to I don't want to ever think that I pull something from their video. But shout out to him, man. He hey, he he, pull, he plugged me in. And uh, now you've been plugged in, I guess. Anyway, I got to get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the whole situation. Grown men understand that whole thing. You, you don't expose DMs in the first place. But if you my boy, why you going hella hard against me? And you don't, like, that's another thing. Like, like y'all y'all know what I'm saying? Like, you playing against your team, like your homeboy in 2K, and, and you we just playing around. Bro, why you going hella hard against me? Like, I, I, I get it. We competing, but that's what I'm saying. That's why I would have blocked him and not talked to him at all because I don't ever want to feel like, bro, you my boy. Why you going hella hard against me? I would have go ahead and, dis and distance myself from him in the beginning so that this type of thing wouldn't happen. That's what I would have done. And then we can come back and reconvene on the other side. It is what it is, man. But uh, hopefully they're going to get over it. I want them guys to be back friends and be cool and all that stuff. This, the game is, this thing is about all of us getting money together. It's way bigger than just basketball. But I'm out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And y'all take it easy. Uh, y'all let me know one more time, man. Megan Good or Tatiana Ali? Megan Good. Or Tatiana Ali. We used to always have a joke back in the day. What if Megan Good married my guy, my guy from um, Illinois, Luther Head, and then she hyphenated her name. Her name would be Megan Good Head. But hey, that's 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 an awful joke, ain't it? Anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like on the video and subscribe for more daily 2K content. Let me know your opinion on the whole thing. Can you see it both ways? I can. I'm open minded. I don't see things one way. I don't go for getting jutsus. I my prefrontal lobe has developed. I'm not a child anymore. So I can see it both ways. While it does look bad at first glance for seeing, when you really step back and look at the whole thing and see that the person exposed what they wanted to rather than all of the DMs. It, it, it changes your perspective. But I got, I'm gone, man. Y'all take it easy. God speak!